Hello, people. This is a、uh, Heart of Iron Four Light Resistance. Today, I'm gonna show you how to play Portugal the most OP way. So, Portugal, Iron Man, historical focuses. Let's start. Iron Man, Portugal two. First off, there's a huge new focus tree for Portugal. What we're gonna do is. Select the、uh, path on the right, which will, will unite Portugal and Brazil under a single monarch. And、uh, on the left side here, we can gain core on Angola and Mozambique, which will give us around essentially 20 million core manpower, which is a、uh, pretty OP if you ask me. And、uh, better time we get a core in Brazil. It'll be like mid 1937. So let's get onto it. First off, a startled novel. Research, generic choices, electric engineer, machine tools, factories. Gonna build some military ones in Porto and this place. Dockyards. We'll start with convoys. Get rid of the、uh, infantry equipment.、Uh, get get rid of the、uh, support equipment. Shift select all the divisions apart from one. Delete them all. Train this one, and we'll import a tiny bit of steel from the Soviet Union. Speed five. Let's get going. First off, we'll train this division so that we get some army experience, and then we'll design a brand new division template with only one cavalry division. We'll wait for that. All right, so now we have finished our first national focus, and we have five army experience. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start with royal wedding. Create the new template. It'll be a cavalry unit, just one, and we'll train 47 of them. Make them a priority. Stop training this guy and move him to Capo Verde. All right, so we have 150 political power now. First thing we're gonna do is to select the.、Uh... All right. Scratch that. First thing we're gonna do is free trade, mechanical computing. All right, we have our first batch ready. Let's deploy those. We got 31 divisions. We can get、uh, 24 of them in Cape Verde. Another 24. We'll deploy them in Guinea Bissau. Yeah, I think we'll need another 24 of these, just to be sure. Deploy them in. Deploy them in this province. Ethiopia. Right. For the third research, we're gonna do this first because that extra retention is very juicy. Another batch of cavalry. All of that goes to Guinea Bissau. Royal wedding completed. Next national focus will be the return of. Durat, and、uh, we got 150 PP. We're gonna hire a traditionalist theorist. Give us political power and daily support for non-aligned. That support is、uh, quite crucial, as you'll see in a moment, because the、uh, the focuses will give us fascist support, and that's that's something we do want to see here. As you can see, this national focus will give us negative popularity in other line, so we should hire that person beforehand. Plus, he gives us a little power, so it's a win-win situation. As an aligned,、uh, we can't really do any. Economy modifications right here, so we'll have to just stuck on civilian for the time.、We'll、move that to one because oh, Spanish Civil War happened. Because、uh, the industry research will give us、uh, some other factory slots in Lisbon and Porto. Navy moves. 
and that this happened a lot of times during the test game and uh, not really important as we are going to go the monarchy route. Manpower minus 500. Okay. Next focus, monarchist uprising in Brazil. Just a little more steel to keep us ahead of production. Now, I don't know why we don't need any convoys to import steel from the Soviet Union. No idea. And a batch of cavalry move them to Cabo Verde. It's a good time that we hire someone. Like this field marshal, this one, games of the Olympics concluded. Let's hire another general, I guess later. You can see that our another line support has dropped significantly. Keep deploying those units and uh, sending to sending them to Guinea Bissau. We'll use them later. Disperse done, mechanical computing done. Next up. This first two, and I guess we'll do computer machine. Another three. Africa, you go. Next focus: the Empire of Brazil. Now, as you can see here, we finish this uh, national focus now, rather in 70 days. Integralist Brazil will get an event, a monarchist uprising, and if it's not another line and has less than 50% stability or 70% neutrality. When it's completed, Brazilian monarchist will start a civil war, dragging us into it. Now, the thing about this event is that if we do that focus right now, as you can see, they have 80% fascist support and 20% another line support. In order uh, for that uh, civil war not to happen, we need the non-line support uh, to reach at least uh, 80%. No, 70%. We need that to be more than 70% for the civil war not to happen. But daily support plus 0.05, that'll be too late. So what we'll do is we'll spawn the civil war and we'll win it. Uh, for the uh, monarchy in Brazil. Now, it might sound hard, but it's actually not. Uh, because they have like uh, 3 to 11 divisions. So, let's say they have 11 divisions. Uh, and uh, when, when the civil war spawns, uh, the monarchy uh, that's on our side will control this state, Rio de Janeiro, and this state, Minas Gerais. They'll control these two states, and uh, as they have a tiny amount of uh, division, uh, there will be a lot of gaps in the front line, and uh, we have a lot of cavalry divisions will be able just to uh, run around and grab the victory points. Now the uh, first targets for the civil war is for us to grab Sao Paulo and Santos. And uh, later we will uh, go south to Porto El Grey and order one to go north along the coast, San Salvador to Recife to Fortaleza and one, once we hold Fortaleza and Port, Porto El Grey and all the coast here, we'll win the civil war, it's that easy. Now, uh, we should do some preparations, some final preparations, grab their army, get them to Guinea-Bissau, uh, we'll switch them to 24, everyone should be 24, we'll get another Commander, blank stat commander, and uh, for Navy and Air Force. Now for Navy we can do something, we can, we can block the coast and do some convoy raiding. You know what, that, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, send these three, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see convoy raiding in these three areas. Don't do it now, do it later. Air Force. Now we don't really have any airport uh, in the Brazil region. 
uh, all in Cabo Verde. And uh, nor do we have enough rain for that. So we will uh, just ignore air flows, or rather give them to one of our generals and uh, do some close air support. That's it. Next, uh, focus the empire of Brazil now. This will trigger the civil war in 70 days and uh, there's an important part to it. This event cannot be cancelled manually, so uh, you better be aware of what you're doing beforehand. Now we will move all these troops to the port so that we'll get to Brazil. He falls ill. He didn't even do anything and he falls ill. Interesting. Hey, are the troops on transport? They're not on transport. We're just uh, low key waiting for the civil war to trigger, which will happen in 12 days. And once again, we have 150 political power. We'll ha hire a uh, military theorist, will give us army experience. Uh, it'll be useful when we research uh, doctrines later. Now the uh, civil war has triggered. First thing we're gonna do, build a front line in Brazil, and uh, the troops will automatically transport to Vila Vilha. Next national focus will do promote the monarchist cause in Portugal. We'll draw the attack line and uh, tell them to go aggressive. Speed three. On the aggression pact, our troops are arriving in Brazil. First batch of troops. They will go. They will go to the south, which is great. We'll tell them to grab Sao Paulo as soon as they get to the front line. Second batch of troops. They will go to the north. We should. Uh, we'll grab one of them immediately. We'll tell him to other side and uh, go grab the coastline for us shift right click shift right click to Fort Leza that should be all right we will monitor the process hey ah, they're just waiting for the orders which is cool now we have some divisions and they have some divisions but that won't matter as we'll just uh, grab the coastline ASAP. Our divisions are getting here. Oh, they've grabbed uh, some follow to us. So we'll grab one of them, unsign, tell him to go to Porto El Blit. Follow the coast. That horse, ooh, run into some kind of trouble. Well, it won't matter essentially because we will just. Uh, Tell this guy to go around that. But this didn't happen during the test play, but uh, I will just tell him to go to the reservoir for us. Now this guy will be surrounded. It's overrun. Mm, we got some troops surrounded, our troops, but uh, oof. Now this. It didn't happen during the test run, but I guess it's okay. We'll just uh, run in the back, right here. It'll be fine. So we have so many divisions to just uh, cut through everything. Grabbing the cold sign. We should have another uh, encirclement right here. Right, that guy went through, and uh, we're well on our way to the northern coast of Brazil. We grabbed Recife. Next stop, Fortaleza. 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 That should be correct. Porto Alegre, and uh, the 99% was. Visualization and there you go. 
Empire of Brazil. Now we can tell all of our people to return to Portugal. Ah, I forgot to uh, order the navy, but I guess no problem. Let's focus restoration of the monarchy. Research. Essentially, you can do whatever you want right now. I guess uh, we'll do adoption. Now, we're not going to war that early, so. Improve the. No. Construction one it is. Now, why would we want Brazil at first? As you can see, we have only 18 factories uh, starting at Portugal. We have six. Uh, three civilian factories and 12. Uh, sorry. Yeah, 12 civilian factories and four, three, uh, actually two military factories. So when we grab Brazil through focus, we can inherit their uh, industrial base. We'll have around uh, 50 factories after that in 1937, mid 1937, uh, which will put us in the position of a major power. And after that, so we will be uh, free to do some other shenanigans. Uh, for example, in Spain, we can support a uh, Spanish monarchy in the Spanish Civil War. We can, uh, for example, we can uh, gain a war goal against uh, Paraguay, Uruguay, or Bolivia, uh, so that uh, the United States will jump in and uh, we can do some quick naval invasions on the east coast this before 1939 they should be pretty weak uh, essentially there are lots of options but first we'll need brazil restoration of the monarchy now we are the kingdom of portugal i will finish this uh, focus the kingdom reunited which uh, means we will gain all of the manpower in Brazil and all of the factory. And I guess we'll uh, start producing some artilleries. Just uh, one tiny bit of artillery. Now as Portugal, we, we don't really have uh, to worry about uh, tungsten because uh, we have tons of tungsten. And we also have some chromium, so we can do some tanks as well. But uh, our high command is infantry and artillery uh, focused, so I guess we'll do artillery. Now the Spanish Civil War has been significantly complicated. Now instead of a two-way civil war, we now have a, a three-way civil war between the Nationalist Spain Republican Spain and uh, Regional Defense Council of America, which is a new thing, I guess. I will just uh, wait for the uh, folks to be completed. 450 blip power by a techno rat, uh, which will gain us some research speed. National focus completed, the kingdom reunited. Japan declares war on China, military purges in the Soviet Union, and we have become United Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil. Capital is in Lisbon. We have 53 factories, some, some armies, decent amount of naval ships. All right, guys, we'll cut this one for today. The first step of becoming a major power as Portugal is to unite Portuguese and Brazilians and essentially all the uh, Portuguese speaking people through the focuses on the left side of the focus tree. Now see, we unlock decision, integrate Mozambique and Angola, which will give us like uh, 20 million core manpower. 1937 53 pack trees as Portugal. That's it for today. Uh, see you guys next time.